right, it's seeping. I'm cutting it off. And it has been 10 minutes. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is put on my 15 pounds of pressure. Again, find out what your pressure is. And now what I'm going to wait for is I don't start the 90 minutes yet. I'm going to wait for it to reach 15 pounds of pressure. This is just to give me an idea. The real way I find out when it reaches 15 pounds of pressure is because of the 15 pound weight, which is right here. This is 15 pounds of pressure. As soon as it hits 15 pounds of pressure inside of my canner, it's going to start jiggling. And I'll show you what that looks like. So as soon as it reaches that, I'll tune you back in and we're going to start our 90 minutes after it jiggles. Okay? This is what it sounds like whenever it, the jiggler starts jiggling. It's supposed to jiggle between three to four times and read your manual. It's supposed to, for mine, it's supposed to be from three to four times smoking up. Sorry about that. Let me check it off. It's supposed to rattle around three to four times. What I did is I set the timer for 90 minutes and cut down the heat. And the more you do this, you'll get more familiar with your stove. You'll be able to um, know what temperature to put it on. When you first start off, just play around with it and keep cutting it down slowly until it rattles between three to four times a minute. There you go. So I will be back after it's been 90 minutes and it's cooled down. Nothing to it. After it's been 90 minutes, don't take this jigger thing off. You'll release it too fast and your jars could break. So um, again, you work so hard, you don't want what you've done to be in vain and for it not to work out. So make sure you go ahead and um, let it calm down on itself and wait till it reaches back to zero.